absolutely nothing. And I'm just like, is this a joke? I just want to know how I have been cleaning up for six hours. I'm starting to walk towards my car. So I drove off because I'm like, why are you walking towards me? What is going on? I'm hoping they let me change it at the front. I feel like this is Chick-fil-A, so I should be able to do anything, right? <laughs> you ever had a read and done before? No, this is my very first reading. Just like pack up all my stuff or like sell everything that I own and just like move into the middle of the woods and isolate myself from society and just like live off the land. <laughs> On time today, period. I'm being picked up at one o'clock. <laughs> Happy Saturday, girl. So it's, let me bring this down some. It's Saturday morning, 11.29. Okay, so I am up, just went to my mailbox. All this stuff behind me, I'm changing my sheets. I'm cleaning today because I told you guys yesterday about the spring equinox, the new year. So I always like to, um, I'm gonna say I always like to like, this is only my second year on my journey, but I'm cleaning because that's what you're supposed to be doing. Decluttering, cleaning up, you know, to bring in the new energy. It makes complete sense. So that's what I'm doing today. Anyways, I went to my mailbox and I have two packages. So I ordered a pair of shoes and I ordered a pair of shoes and I ordered a bag. So next, Sunday, yeah, not not this weekend, but next su next Sunday, next Saturday is my grandmother's birthday, and we're going out. We're going to a play, and we're going to dinner. So I have a dress. Um, you guys have actually seen it. It's this dress from Target. If y'all watched my collective haul, you saw it in the video. It's like a really really beautiful like cobalt blue colored um, dress, and I wanted to do silver, so I ordered some shoes. Fingers crossed they fit. Um, they took exactly one week to get here. So if they don't fit, then I can order them and probably do rush shipping. Oh, these are, so, should I do a TikTok? These are so freaking cute. Look how cute these are by BCBG. I'm super excited about them. Let's see if they, let's see if they fit. Why does this look like this? What? This looks damaged right here. Um, I ordered a 10. I wear a 10, but sometimes the 10 be a little short. So let's see. No, I need an 11. My toe is off the front. I started to order two pairs. Nah, these are really cute though. So, okay, now I need to go order the other ones and now I have to take these back to BCBG. So let me show y'all. Oh. oh, hell no, hell no. Can y'all see? The lighting is, the sun is literally right here. Y'all can see. Okay, how cute. They're super cute. But my toe is literally hanging, my big toe is literally hanging off the front of the shoe. So that's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. And I definitely have to put a, um, a sliding pad. That's why I got those from Amazon. So yeah, I'm gonna get the 11, put the sliding pad in it and we should be good. Okay, so I need to order those and do rush shipping, unfortunately. This is why I don't like, this is why I don't like ordering shoes because it's like, I do wear a 10, yes, and most of my shoes are, but sometimes the shoes are just, they're just short. And it's like, I need it to be a true 10. Like it can't be like close, you know, no, it needs to be that, so. Yeah, now I need to do this. Okay, that sucks. Um, but what can you do? This is this is why I don't order shoes online. I don't, I, yeah, I prefer not to because of this reason, but they didn't have them in store. So let's see about the bag. Now the bag is from ASOS. This is my first ASOS purchase ever. Ever, girl, I never bought nothing from ASOS before. So I was, I had the hardest time trying to find a silver bag. The first place that I went, of course, Fashion Nova. Then I went to Amazon or, you know, those are like my first two places to go. Nothing, absolutely nothing. And I'm just like, is this a joke? I really did not think it was gonna be that difficult to find a silver bag. So here is the bag. It's definitely like a statement. Ooh, it's heavy. It is so heavy. It's definitely a statement bag. How do I? Oh, let me just see if I can rip it. Oh, 
Okay. This is the bag. Isn't this so cute? Like, I love it. It's, I feel like it's even smaller than I thought it was. Damn. It's super small. But I was planning to just put my little pink um, thing in the inside. This is so cute. So let me show y'all the vision, right? The vision. Come on, with the cobalt blue, like so pretty, so pretty. So this bag is super heavy, super heavy. But let me see it on. I was planning to just carry it like this. You know, hanging right here. It's very small, so I'll only be able to put, like, where's my phone? Where is my phone? What? Oh, right here. Okay. So I'll only be able to put my phone and then, yeah, I'll be able to put a few, a few little things in here. This is so cute to me. I just love it. I love it. So let me go order these shoes, girl. And yeah, damn, I'm so mad about this. So mad about this. I also, I also got this belly chain. How cute is this? Oh, so I'll go, let me actually fix it. How cute! Ignore my hairy stomach. <laughs> it has like moon, suns, the evil eye. It's so cute. I love this, especially with summer coming up. It was like $5 <laughs> and I got it only to get free shipping. So literally they were like, do you wanna spend $4.50 more in order to get free shipping? And I was like, yeah, I do. So I just went ahead and picked this up. Super cute super cute love it still really upset about the shoes <laughs> i i just uh, i just ordered i just ordered them right now oh so i just placed the order but the option for um expedited shipping was not available now when i ordered them last week it was available for me to do i think it's like 14.99 to get like two day shipping now this week the option isn't available <laughs> So I'm just like FML. I, um, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed, keeping a positive attitude, <laughs> seeing myself with the shoes on on Saturday because they took exactly one week to get here. So it will be another Saturday to Saturday, but I'm gonna need to know if they're gonna come because if they're, I don't know, I guess I would just have to put, I, I wouldn't be able to wear the outfit because to me, the dress, only goes with silver or gold. I do have a pair of nude heels. I do have a pair of clear heels, but I just feel like I wanted the silk, like it was gonna be a look, you know, with the silver shoes and the silver bag. So now I'm just kind of like, if I don't have it, then I'm just gonna have to wear something else. I don't know what the something else will be, but. to watch so i'm about to watch um radiant reality this What's is something you learned from tiktok that on. feels illegal to know i'll start this ad right here save me new okay so i i love radiant reality this is um his name is raf his video is called aries new moon astrology oh aries new moon astrology and tarot the video is like an hour and a half long so i'm assuming that he's going to be talking about he's probably gonna he always he's does tarot reading so he's definitely gonna pull tarot for sure but then he will also be talking about the astrology of what's going to be going on in aries season i'm assuming like what the planets are going to be doing and stuff like that during this um during aries season <laughs> for the new moon girl giving us a new moon reading i'm um, pulling some tarot cards so yeah i'm gonna be i'm um, watching him let me see y'all can get a better picture okay radiant reality he is one of my yeah, one of my, he's one of my faves. I, subs I subscribe to his channel. So it is 
now we can officially get started. I would like to get to know living room space I want to vacuum my filming room and then I just need to sweep this little small area and then I'll be done so almost done but not quite so officially I feel like I can have everything put away by seven but I just decided that I'm just gonna have myself a little small glass of wine because I think I'm gonna go pick up um, Popeyes I I don't know I was just like mm, I think I want to pick up some food and I was thinking about canes but I was like no I don't want canes like I could really eat the Popeyes the three tenders red beans a biscuit you know the what is it the black and ranch sauce so yeah that's what i'm that's what i'm planning to do so obviously if i do that i wouldn't have a glass normally i like take my shower and then like have a glass of wine and then um have my dinner and then if i'm like cooking or something then i might have a second glass or then i'll be done normally i only drink two at most sometimes only one anyways girl all this to say that i just decided that i'm gonna have my little glass of wine now while i'm finishing cleaning up so that i can be ready to go and pick up my food right quick 
and be ready to eat. I'm very hungry. Okay, all I had was some little the canned tuna with just lemon and like some seasonings on it and some Ritz crackers for lunch and for breakfast I had oatmeal. And that's it. That's it. Nothing else. And Lily just posted, so I'm like, okay, that's perfect. When I get my food, I can come back, watch Lily, and then probably just go ahead and take my shower and get in the bed, okay? Because tomorrow I'm going by, uh, my mom's gonna help me do my taxes tomorrow. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna have um, Sunday dinner. So that's what's going on. <sighs> we're almost there. Oh, my, <laughs> my hair looks absolutely insane. The frizz is just beyond me, okay? What up to my dogs? I only want Celia, also known as Lydia or Julia. So, what, tell me why I have two wings. Now, I thought with the two, it's a two piece, right? So, we're only supposed to have one wing, but I got two wings, so I feel extra special. I'm so excited. Like, the line was so quick. That's what I'm talking about, okay? Fast food. Fast food. Like, it literally, I pulled up, there was like, one, two cars in front of me, they ordered, I pulled up. Everything was so quick, like I got there and back so fast. And then lo and behold, I opened my box and two wings, I mean, ah, chosen. Happy Sunday! So I am sitting in the sunroom <laughs> in my parents' house. Y'all, I don't think y'all have ever been in here before, but it's so cute, it's like windows here windows here and then it's just like cute little decor my mom is um actually in the process of redecorating this little room but i love it because you can sit here and just like look out and it's the sunroom so it's like sunny you know so i have my drink we're having whiskey sours whiskey sour is literally my favorite cocktail y'all know we make this all the time but I'm here because I know I told y'all yesterday that my mom was going to help me do my taxes. So we did it. Girl, it took us three hours, okay, to do the taxes. But I'm so happy it's done because I've been putting aside like the 30%. You guys know if you are an entrepreneur, content creator, whatever that any amount of money you make, girl, you need to put aside 30% in a separate account. So then when taxes come, because we don't pay taxes like through the year, we pay it, you know, at the end. So oh, a kitty. Do you guys like cats? I have never had a cat. My mom does not like animals. <laughs> so I've never had a pet, but well, I had a fish one time. That doesn't really count, like unless it's a dog, but I always see cats and I'm just like, oh, I wonder, you know, if I would like cats or not. This is completely besides the point, but so I'm so happy that we did that and got that done. So, and it turns out that I had to pay less than what I thought. So amazing okay absolutely incredible so happy about that <laughs> so now i have that extra money um for myself so we're um we're about to have dinner so i will show you guys what we're having super excited very hungry can't wait but i just figured i will come and check in and say hey from a new from some new scenery you know and if you're also having a little cocktail cheers okay so that's basically all that's going on now I low-key think that this might end up being in a, maybe this will be the last day of the vlog. I've really just been vlogging. I never know how much footage I have until I actually sit down and start editing, but I can't load in the clips just to like see because my storage on my Mac is so small. My Mac is a 64. What's the reason? Like when I went to the girl and got my MacBook, she was like, oh, this is going to be enough. After I told her that I was going to be editing videos. So I basically have to edit vlogs in like, sections and then put them together because there is not enough storage space you don't care about this i'm just i'm just saying but um but yeah oh also lips can y'all tell lips and cheeks i'm wearing the tart stuff that i told y'all about that like changes the ph in your lips and your cheeks y'all yeah. need it okay that's my grandmother calling she wants me she wants to show me some things that she bought so i'm gonna come and check in with y'all when we get ready to eat lemon pepper chicken this literally looks amazing i can't wait dinner is served have known it would be so difficult to find a shelter to donate the clothes so happy 
what's today? Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, girl. I am in the parking lot at CVS because I just needed to run in there really quick for something. I already went to the post office and now I was gonna go bring the clothes. Y'all know I cleaned out my closet the other day and I wanted to bring the clothes to the shelter, the one I normally bring it, um, the one I normally bring my items to. They're not taking clothes. Then I called a second one and they were like, they're not taking anything. So now I'm trying to like look and see what else is there that's not super far. All right, let's try another one. Hi, I'm calling to find out if you guys are taking clothing donations for women. Yeah, we don't take clothing here, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Um, I hate to bring stuff to Goodwill because I'm donating all this stuff for free and Goodwill is gonna charge people to buy it. Like, I don't want, I don't, that's not what I want. I want people, homeless people to just be able to, or, you know, people who need the clothes, I want those people to just be able to get the stuff for free. I don't want anybody to have to donate it. So now I'm like, I already packed my trunk. I have a bag full of clothes, a bag full of clothes, a trunk full of clothes. And I mean, it's looking like Goodwill. Okay, perfect. So I finally found somewhere to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm really happy because I just did not want to bring the stuff to Goodwill. Like Goodwill is... Uh, uh, the owners of mil the owners of Goodwill are millionaires. Okay, like it's it's a business. Like it's not. I mean, if you're donating stuff and bringing it to Goodwill, I mean, it's like you know, okay, good, you got it out of your out of your house. You cleaned your space, so that's always a great thing. But I just feel like being able to just bring it to a shelter where women can just go and get stuff for free. I think that's just really the best way. So I'm happy that I found something. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then after this, we'll probably go to Whole Foods. And I'm also hungry, so we might get something to eat too. Yeah. And the Uber was like, um, okay, I'm done. I'm so happy that I figured it out. I, li I drove around this place. It's literally so confusing where it is. I was there the first time and I called on the phone to make sure they were accepting donations. And the lady was like, you're gonna see like a black gate and a security guard. And I pulled up and I see the sign for the place plain as day. So I'm like, and I see the black gate. So I'm like, okay, this has to be it. But I don't see any security guard. And I see this man starting to walk towards my car. So I drove off because I'm like, why are you walking towards me? What is going on? And then I made the, um, girl made the made the block but really like went all about it took me like 10 minutes to get back to where I was and then um I was on the phone with her and she was like oh yeah that's him I hear his voice girl why you didn't just say it was gonna be a regular man I'm thinking it's gonna be an actual security officer in a uniform like or like a police officer you know like a uniform this man has on jeans a little collar polo shirt Jordans like real casual looking like you could have described him but anyway I'm so actually this place was so much easier because the people came to your car like literally I just pulled up and whoever their volunteers are and stuff came to the car and like got everything and then that was it it was so quick and easy so I'm so happy that that is done and I feel like so much lighter because although I had cleaned out my closet all this stuff was still sitting in my house it was just sitting in bags so now it's 11:36. This is your sign, by the way, to clean out your closet. Okay. Okay. I returned the Amazon package, and I'm looking for flowers. I really think I want to do yellow. So they have these. These are really pretty. They also have hot pink, though. So I'm not sure. They have light pink. I don't know. I know I want to do roses, though. I just feel like roses are the best for a spiritual bath. They have red, but I'm I'm really thinking I'm gonna do yellow. Let's let's do yellow. I really think I'm gonna get these right here. I think I'm gonna get a pineapple too. Back home, so I'm getting ready to 
go ahead and put my flowers in the vase. I did get these from my um, from my bath, but I'm not gonna use all of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of them in here. And then I'll probably take maybe like two or three to put in my bath. And then I did get a pineapple. Um, literally, I only got this pineapple because the other day I was on Instagram and if y'all follow Anaya, she had posted um, like how to tell if a pineapple is ripe or not. And ever since I saw that, I was like, ooh, I want a pineapple. And since I'm deciding that yellow is the theme of my spiritual bath, I was like, oh, this is cute. I can have a little pineapple as a snack while I'm in my bath. So I got that. I got a lemon because I'm gonna be doing like an orange lemon cinnamon boil for my bath. So I got that. I got some green beans and I got some tomato copita. I'm pretty sure I've showed this to y'all before, but in case I haven't, this is so good. It's basically phyllo dough and like a spinach and cheese mixture in the middle. So I like to dip this in like a little sour cream with some sriracha on top for a little spice. Really good snack. And I think for lunch, I think I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A actually and get some, get some food because I don't really have like a lot of lunch. Oh, I don't really have a lot of lunch things. So yeah, should I record this? Chick-fil-A. Let me turn this down. We're in the line waiting for our food. I low-key want to change my fry. I got, a, I got a medium fry, but I feel like I should have gotten a large because I'm probably not going to eat dinner. Like I'll probably just eat this and I got a milk. I got a milkshake. I'm so excited about it. I'm hoping they let me change it at the front. I feel like this is Chick-fil-A, so I should be able to do anything, right? <laughs> Hi. Yes. Right. I wanted to ask about changing my fry. She said back there I could ask y'all to change it to a large instead of a medium. Instead of a medium? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is it too late to change the fry or no? Is it too late to change the fry? The person back there said if I wanted to change it, I could do it up here. Okay, it was on that meal right there? Yeah. What is it? What do you I have? had a medium, but I wanted a large. Okay, I'll take care of that okay. for you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Yay! I was able to change it. I'm really excited. I'm starving, so I can't wait to eat. But it, you remember like when you grew up as a kid, you would take like the Flintstone vitamins. It just smells like vitamins. And I thought it was going to taste like that too. It was like raspberry flavor. <laughs> Last thing I showed y'all, I don't even know girl, but happy Thursday. I am getting ready to have my very first reading. So y'all know I'm a real spiritual being. Okay, but on my two years of my spiritual journey, I have never had a reading done. And I've been wanting to get one. Like I've been wanting to get a reading for quite a while. And I'm just like, okay, like it's the new year. Go ahead and book a reading. So I found someone on TikTok. So I have been watching, um, someone on TikTok, I've been watching all of her like lives and stuff like that. And she brought a guest on like two times in a row. And so I was like, okay, she has had a reading from him before. And she's like, you know, everything was spot on. Like it was just like, she highly recommends him. So I'm like, okay, 
all right all right like i feel like this is a great person to do it so i'm really excited the reading is going to be at two o'clock so we have like seven minutes um and so i think i'm, I'm gonna record it um i don't know if i'm gonna record all of it but i'm gonna record some and i might put in a little bit here I might like like I might not but I just want to let y'all know this is what's going on so I'm really excited he just sent me the card spread so clearly he pulls um the cards before and then he sent it to me like a picture of it and then because he's going to do it over the phone so then I guess I'll be able to like in fact I wanted to put I wanted to open the spread on my iPad so that I could actually um look at the cards I have my notebook because I want to take notes um you know and just because when you're getting a reading done like right because you're not gonna remember everything so try to take notes and write down stuff so that you can go back because as this stuff really unfolds in life girl she said he was really spot on so i'm i'm really excited and for me i didn't want just anybody to do my reading you know like i just i i didn't i didn't want that so i wanted to feel like the person was like sent to me and i felt a connection and i'm like yeah this is a this is a good person so i'll let y'all know her, um for a little while and i love her lives and then i think you were on it like a time before this too when i had caught it but you weren't on it for as long and then this last friday y'all were on there for like three hours and I, I watched the whole thing <laughs> yeah no we yeah i gotta i gotta definitely upload that live somehow <laughs> so yes something. but yeah we were talking about the feminine uh energy the feminine dark darker aspect of the feminine energy mm -hmm. and how you can utilize it well i'm happy that she definitely reached out to the world um, I did pull cards for you. Yes, um, I'm looking at them. Questions. So, you know, definitely let me know. Have you ever had a reading done before? No, this is my very first reading. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. For yes. That. I've been wanting to get one for a while. I've been on my journey for like two years. And I've been wanting to get one, but I just never did. And then finally, I like got the push <laughs> to book right. one. You in a new career path. You're yeah. A new, mm -hmm. a new purpose. Yes. Um, I do feel like lately... Like I feel like within these last past few years, you just have been in a um, a space of finding your identity. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I, I want to find my identity, but I also want to commit to it at the same time. Like commitment issues to self is is kind of like a prevalent thing. It's like, I, it's like you could be strong and, and bold in something, but also at the same time, I feel like you maybe don't trust in it as you should or trust an experience that you should, or are you second guessing yourself? Like there's some uncertainty energy that comes through when it comes to you can, like committing yourself to self. Every that day great. I'm like, am I on the right track? <laughs> yeah, right, and I know I have like a, it's a, it's a hesitation here. Like you're hesitant on, I don't know why spirit keeps like bringing me back to commitment. Like is commitment a thing? Um, I don't know why, are you really hard on yourself at times? I would say yes. Okay, cause that's what I'm getting. I'm like, and they, they like, she needs to chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, do you have a podcast? Oh my God. Why do y'all want me to start a podcast so bad? <laughs> I, feel like that, I feel like you need to document this. And this is the spirit that's coming through. I feel like you need to document your experience. Well, that's why I started the videos. But that's so funny because this is... <laughs> I hate okay. you guys. <laughs> Not the podcast. Yeah, so, yeah that's I, think, funny. I think it would be... Okay, you guys, the reading is over. I am like, oh my gosh, I feel like it's just so much that I have that I have to process from the reading and just, I don't, I don't even know where to begin to process all the things. I feel like he was, you know, he, I feel like he was pretty spot on. <laughs> I feel like he was pretty spot on, honestly, with um, just picking up all my energy and how I'm feeling. And one of the main things that he said was he feels like my energy is like, very confused like I have a lot of roads open and I totally feel that <laughs> I totally feel that I totally agree and it's like I always feel like really torn with the direction that I'm heading in life and like being this content creator and then also having this urge to just like pack up all my stuff or like sell everything that I own and just like move into the middle of the woods and isolate myself from society and just like live off the land <laughs> or to just like put all my stuff in storage and just like go backpacking through Europe, you know, like just, just go traveling, just this country, the next country, the next country, and just like have no like home space. Like I feel that as well. And just like with any, just anything like I, y'all, like it's just so much, like I feel like I could go in any direction 
in any I, any direction I could go in. And it's so funny that he brought up um, he brought up a podcast. This is not the first time that I have heard start a podcast, start a podcast, start a podcast, start a podcast. Like, so I, I don't know. I feel like now that, I mean, we were not talking about that. He would not have been able to gather that information from anywhere. So it's really crazy that, that he would bring that he would bring that up about the podcast. And I'm just like, if y'all have been watching, you know, like the videos I've been posting, I started posting spiritual content. I did a video on my spiritual awakening. I posted another video um, after that about like things that I have researched or whatever, like on my journey. And, you know, I filmed three other videos today before I did this reading and all of them being spiritual videos. And I've done this before. Like I filmed a few spiritual videos like when I was only a few months into my journey. They're on my main channel. I believe I privated them all by now. But um, they were on my main channel. But even then I was still feeling like podcast, podcast. And I just, I don't know. So I might be starting a podcast, girl. We're gonna see. Um, we're gonna see what that'll be. I mean, a podcast would be a little easier in a way because I mean, I don't really plan to do much editing to the podcast. It's all talking. Nobody's going to see me. So I don't have to get dressed. I don't have to do my makeup. I don't have to do my nails, my hair, nothing. All I have to do is record. And y'all know, well, y'all might not know, but I, um, I have throat chakra issues. Like I have problems speaking up, speaking up for myself, speaking my truth. You know, it just anything. Like if you know anything about the throat, throat chakra and I'm telling you I have a blocked one, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, a podcast would definitely be like a key way for me to, for me to get through that girl. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna see, but I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and I'm, I'm done filming for today. I filmed the third video. I don't know if I like it as much, but the first two I definitely like. So I got two videos filmed, so I'm really good with that. This vlog is gonna go up Thursday, so I'm pretty much good with my content. Um, so I think I'm just about to be done, honestly. Just kinda sit in all this information, and yeah, so I'll probably just talk to y'all tomorrow. I am getting ready to take off my makeup, and y'all remember this Provence Beauty Cleansing Balm that I unboxed when I was unboxing PR and stuff. This is so good. So I have been wanting to show you guys this for like the last few vlogs, but now it's like convenient. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take off my lashes first. And then it's really just like a, a jelly. So when you open it, this is the inside, right? And then you can just, get some so this one has a mortal flower jojoba and soap bark extract so yeah it smells like i don't even know how to describe the smell but i basically just put some like this all over and i probably didn't even need this much i definitely didn't need this much but and then you just start rubbing it in and it honestly just dissolves the makeup i love this so much more than a makeup wipe y'all know well, maybe y'all don't know, but I'm a makeup wipe girl. I have been using those same Neutrogena makeup wipes, I feel like, since I started wearing makeup. And I have been wanting to try a cleansing balm, but I just never got one. So I'm so happy that they sent this to me. And this this is bomb. Like, I would recommend this. When I run out, I'll be buying this again. Like, well, will I buy it again? I don't know. I like to try new products. Um, but, like, it's definitely a repurchase for me. I, I love it. I think the product is great. So... You can literally remove all of your makeup with this. I know some people do this and then they just take a washcloth and um, just like wipe it off from there. But I like to rinse mine off with water. So I do it all. I'm going to do my eyes too, but I want to keep my eyes open while I'm talking to y'all. But yeah. Mm -hmm. So I do this. And then I'm just gonna rinse off my face and then I'll come back. I mean, y'all can see for yourselves <laughs> like how well it removed the makeup and only water, like I have not put any soap on my face. I don't like to go too close to my hairline because 
you know, I don't want to get all of that in my hair. So normally I just do this first and then I did a whole TikTok on this. <laughs> in case anyone cares, follow me on TikTok at India Ajay. And then I use my micellar water. This is the one I like from Garnier. Ignore my nails, girl. I put on those sticky press-ons again um, just to film the videos and I already took three of them off. So <laughs> yeah, but then I like to just go over it with this micellar water, more so like on my hairline where I didn't get, where I didn't put the cleansing balm and like behind my ear and stuff where I blend my makeup out over my eyes for my mascara but y'all can see how good the product worked with taking off my makeup and you know I haven't even washed my face yet and I just feel like it just looks so great so definitely love the product highly recommend it happy Friday so I'm doing my oh I literally only have four minutes left on this memory card I'm doing my nails and I know I've been talking about my nails I feel like in the last I know I talked about it in the last vlog so I was just like let me go ahead and show y'all how I do them. I'm not gonna like do a tutorial or anything, but I use the Kiss Press On Nails. Y'all know I always get these, so let me see. This is not, this is just an example. This is not the color that I'm using today, but these are the nails. Love these, I love this brand. I pretty much only do these Kiss nails. And then y'all know I like this glue, this nail bond glue. And then I'm also going to be using some alcohol as well and a nail file and then nail clipper and then like the little cuticle thing so the first thing that i always do is clean up my cuticles with this first and then i will go over them with my nail file and just like really really file them good and then i will put some rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad this is it right here and then i'll go and wipe off each nail right this is going to help to like dehydrate the nail make sure there's no oil on it or anything and then once i do this then i go in with the nail glue and then obviously put on the nail so um that's what i'm doing right now and then the key honestly when you're done is just filing them so that they're really good and square but i just wanted to show you all the nail glue and like the steps that i take because these steps really work i promise you if you do this your nails will be on okay they will be on but when they start lifting just make sure you go ahead and just take it off and redo it so that you don't end up with green under your nails like like i do but this girl uh, we're gonna time it so like i'm gonna document it in the vlog day one and then like keep showing y'all how they're looking after the days and we'll see when the first nail actually pops off and every now and then a nail may come off and i re-glue it but like for the most part they're gonna stay on let me give y'all one more trick. You can only do this if your nails are dark. So I'm actually gonna test it out on one of the ones I'm not wearing because this is a light colored nail and you'll be, oh, not this pack though, this is my new pack, hold on. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna grab one of the ones that I know that I will never use because it's way too big for my nail. Okay, so in the nail, if you have this um, cuticle pushback thing, normally it's the round side on one part and then the pointy side on the other. This pointy part right here, scratch the inside of the nail. So let me put it close and go back and forth on this part and scratch it. So let me see. If your nails are like white or you're doing like a French manicure, you won't be able to do this. But if it's a kind of a darker color, if you scratch the inside, you shouldn't be able to see it when you flip it over. So I'm testing this one out to make sure I can do it before I do the ones I'm wearing. Can you see? Oh no, you can't see it. So I'm about to do this on the inside. When you do that, it basically makes like grooves in the nail and it, it adheres better and stays on longer. I just, it just works. Just, just trust me on it. It works. Okay. So yeah, you cannot see it. In the inside but obviously if you were going to be doing like if you were going to be doing this set you obviously can't scratch the inside of the nail girl because you will be able to see it you know and if they're like a white color like i have these i don't know that i'll be able to scratch the inside with these because you may be able to see through it you know but if not girl do it i promise you it works let me change this memory card because it's out else so pretty 
happen I feel like they just look so good I haven't had nails in probably like two weeks yeah like permanently on in like two weeks so yeah I really just wanted to show you all the final results honestly I'm not about to do anything but just chill i was watching pretty brie and then i'm probably about to watch something else and just hang out today's friday like i said we're going out tomorrow which is why i did my nails so i might not talk to y'all until then i'm making dinner so literally i just wanted to show y'all that i am making snack wraps so i was on facebook and they were saying that although mcdonald's doesn't have the snack wraps anymore wendy's is about to get snack wraps girl and so when i saw that i was like ooh. I used to love snack wraps and I was like what can I do I can make that for dinner tonight so I was gonna have shrimp but I'm gonna do girl look I'm gonna do fried shrimp right so I'm gonna do fried shrimp here are my shrimp cream flour I don't have any cornmeal so I have to do flour and then I only have two eggs which I want for breakfast so I'm just gonna use cream as my liquid and then I have my shrimp and then we got the oil going over here we got the fries going in the oven so everything will be ready really soon so i'm i'm just gonna let y'all watch you guys it's oh i don't even have on a watch it's almost one almost one like 12 45 or something like that i am dressed as you guys can see i am on time today period so i'm being picked up at one o'clock today is my grandmother's birthday so we are going to a play first and then we're going to dinner so this is what i am wearing y'all already seen this outfit okay this is what i wore <laughs> when i went um out that night and i thought it was gonna be like a content creator mixer event and it turned out it turned out to be a trivia night and that it was the other event was a whole different day but this is what i had on but i just decided to do different shoes today so i'm wearing these these are some steve madden little honestly go to like nude heels i had these heels um for graduation high school graduation girl these were my shoes so yeah love these i'm pretty sure high school i'm pretty sure but yeah i love these heels they're really they're cute they're simple classy and they're honestly not that comfortable they do have a nice little um cushion in them and then this little outfit is from fashion nova and i have on my little belly chain my shoes did come my um my silver shoes i told you guys i need to order another pair um the pair that i got was too small so i reordered them they're here they got here today like maybe an hour ago but i had already decided i was just gonna wear this outfit because when i wear that dress and like do the shoes and like do the look i want to film and i wasn't gonna film today just because really because of my hair like my hair i mean it's fine like there's nothing wrong with this but it's not like really like i don't know like something i really want to showcase like when i do a look you know so yeah i just decided i would go ahead and wear this and, you know this is comfy this is cute and yeah i really like this um this outfit from fashion Nova. and then pretty much all my jewelry is target yeah target 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 um ocean jasper moonstone and yeah my little belly chain that i got from asos so yes this is today's outfit i really just wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog so you guys can know what was going on before we head out the house girl so i'm about to be picked up probably in like next 10 minutes or so and then we will be on our way to start our evening I'm hiding. 
The line for Cafe Du Monde. Oh my God, it's tourist season. You couldn't make this. Maybe we just felt like that. Yeah, maybe we just felt like that. Sometimes I don't want you around. You do something to make me smile. And it's hard for me to try to doubt this feeling. So tell me why the play starts at 3. Shut up, shut up, India. <laughs> my mother, who is always on time with the times, my guess is there's a parade today, right? So we had to be early. So my guess is she was so frantic about getting here on time that she overlooked the time of the play. It's three o'clock and not two o'clock. Cartel, cartel, thank you. So we are, thank you. We are at the, um, there's a restaurant basically okay. attached to this, so we're in here having a cocktail before the play. <laughs> so now, we're gonna be late to our dinner because our dinner reservation is for 5.30, but we don't get out of the play till like 5.45, so we'll see. We'll just have to call and tell them that we're gonna be late. We'll see how it goes. Yes. The um the lady um, Alex Jernicelli yeah. is on the kitchen. Wine girl, okay, and it was such a nice day. The play was super good. We saw um, a, a cat on a hot tin roof, it's a Tennessee Williams play. So, if y'all have read, um, oh my gosh, what's the what's the book or the play with um, Stella? It's not called Stella, but y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if y'all probably read it in school, anyway, it's the same, um, the same author. So, yeah, the play was really good. Dinner was great. It was great. I literally love this restaurant. We go, this is our third time going. And every time we go, it's just it's top tier, okay? One thing about my family, girl, we are going to linger, okay? So we left home at one o'clock. So I was telling you guys when we were at the bar that we thought the play was for three o'clock. Turned, oh no, we thought the play was for two o'clock. Turns out it was for three o'clock. So we ended up going to this little um, restaurant next door, having a drink and then um, going to the play. And then after the play, we went to the restaurant and we were at the restaurant for, girl, we got there about 6.15, it's 10 o'clock. So almost four hours um, eating and drinking and being merry. So everything was so, um, so great. Really nice day. Um, and yeah, girl, that's it. I feel like I have enough footage to end the vlog here. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't actually started editing yet, but I have a feeling this vlog probably started off with a clean with me because I was going to do a separate video on that. And then I was just like, okay, no, like I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna just put it in the vlog. I'm just put it in the vlog. So yeah, um, I feel like I have enough and I can start a new vlog on Monday because I think I'm gonna go out um, editing again because I have a few things that I need to edit so yeah anyways girl that's gonna be the end of this vlog definitely be sure you subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up you know subscribe turn on your post notifications join the family you already know okay and i will see you guys in my next video bye 
Okay, so let's talk about it. I know you guys saw when I was doing my reading that the person who did my reading, which was um, Seven Taylor, I put his name across the screen in case any of you guys are interested in um, getting a reading, you're looking for someone to do one, I would definitely recommend him. It was, it was a great reading. So I know you guys saw that he asked me if I had a podcast and I basically just started laughing. Girl, I burst out into laughter. I was just like, I know you're lying. Like, are you serious right now? You're not serious. My guides have been asking me to start a podcast for probably like a year at this point. Um, yeah, probably like like a year. Like I've been on my journey about two years or almost two years. No, two years literally at this point. And they have asked me more than once to start a podcast. Like I'll just hear start a podcast, start a podcast, start a podcast. Just in the back of my mind all the time. And you guys know I started posting spiritual content on this channel. So I have a few spiritual videos up, maybe like three, I think. And I have like one or two more coming and then that's going to be it. Um, I may, you know, post something every now and then, but as far as it being like a real series and like videos about spiritual things going up weekly, that's not going to be happening. So what I decided to do, girl, is start a podcast. I know y'all saw across the screen that the podcast is called The Spiritual Baddie Podcast, which I love the name. That was the name of the series that I had started on YouTube. Um, and yeah, girl, I just, I love the name. I feel like it goes really well. It's like a spiritual baddie, which is like what I am. And that's, you know, that's what we, that's what we talk about on the show. So the podcast is going to be um, sometimes me just kind of like rambling um, or venting about um, things that are going on in this earthly realm. And other times it'll be more structured episodes. I am planning to retell my spiritual awakening story time. And I might um, include a few details that I did not include in the YouTube video. So if you guys watch the YouTube video and you want, you know, a little bit more tea, definitely go ahead and listen to the um, to the podcast episode. Likely I'll be posting it on Friday. So this vlog is going up Thursday and likely that episode will go up on Friday. I am planning for my podcasting posting days to be Tuesdays and Fridays. That's the plan right now. If it changes, you know, I'll let y'all know. But um, as of right now, that's what I'm planning to do. So I'm excited. Um, I actually already have an episode up. So if you guys want to go listen to the intro and you guys want to go listen to the first episode, you can do that. It is linked in the description box down below. The first episode is definitely more of like, a rambling um, type of episode, just kind of talking about what's going on. I touched on um, all these IG models who are basically now giving their life to Christ um, and just my thoughts on it, you know, from like a spiritual perspective. So yeah, girl, the first episode, you know, was good. It's about 20 minutes long. So you guys can go check that out. And like I said, likely the second episode is going to be about my spiritual awakening. Some of the episodes will be more structured. So I will be talking about, you know, the chakras and like, maybe not necessarily like no, I will talk about in detail about the chakras, but I'll be focused more so on myself and how I'm working on a particular chakra or things that I've previously done in the past to help me get to where I am. I am on a healing journey. You guys know this. I'm in therapy. You guys know this. So I will definitely be talking about those things in the podcast as well. So if you are a spiritual woman um, and you want you know, to look for a new spiritual podcast, you want somebody new to listen to, somebody to add to your podcast list, girl, definitely go ahead and subscribe to mine. It is, it is available on Spotify, Apple, I believe Google Podcasts and Amazon Music Podcast too. But likely I figure most of you guys will be listening through Spotify or Apple because I just feel like those are the most common ones. But nonetheless, girl, I really just wanted to put this at the end of this vlog. One, because I really like my vlogs to be at least an hour long. <laughs> and for two, I really just wanted to let you guys know what was going on with the podcast since I already have an episode up. And you guys probably saw that across the screen and was like, oh, she already started the podcast. So yes, girl, surprise, I already did. So definitely look in the description box down below for the link so you guys can go ahead and subscribe to the podcast, keep up with it and all of that. And we'll probably talk a little bit more about it in my upcoming vlogs. But yeah, that is going to be it for this vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my hair channel, subscribe to the podcast, and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!